We here in America, where I grew up, we would constantly see pictures of shortages in Russia. And we were told, see, socialism doesn't work. They have a lot of shortages. And now I live in a country which has shortages everywhere, but the one common element of the media is never to talk as though the problem were capitalism. Oh no, it's the Federal Reserve, it's the supply chain disruptions, it's COVID, it's the war in Ukraine, it's the evil Chinese. Here's the true simple reality. In 2020 and 2021, the worst public health disaster in the country's history and the second worst economic crash at the same time. To have that experience and then follow it up now while whacking our population in the face with an inflation. And now we are talking about a recession, not whether we have an, a recession, that that's settled. The issue is, will we have it this year or will it wait until next year? And by the way, when you do this to societies, especially crunched into a short period of time, you tear them apart. They break down. We are living through that. And we ought to understand that it's not just this or that. This is, a you know, we are not strange people. We're human beings like everybody else. So there has to be something going on to produce this. The inflation is a wonderful condensed expression of an economic system that's busted. You cannot continue to have 1% of the people make the key economic decisions that the rest of us have to live with. But we now live in a society which, in which capitalism is going down and the 1%, they're taking care of themselves and they're offloading the cost of the decline of this system onto the rest of us. That's what's happening. And we are not going to be nice to one another as that continues if we let it.